Hello everybody, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the SFL final. We've got Gadernik with his Proels versus Flicky Flack, aka Bloodstep, with his Lizard Men. In the booth with me is Fimir and Purple Chest. Hello! Hello everybody, here we are in the final of the finals. Gadernik versus Flicky Flack in the SFL final for the ninth title. Uh, and the question is, who will get the prize money from Escuro? Um, it's thrilling to be here, Jim. It's always nice to shine a light on some of these, you know, some of the little corners of Blood Bowl where people tend to play their, their little private leagues and things, which they, they love. Keep them coming back for more. Every few weeks they play a game. Um, it's interesting to see. Um, also, of course, shouldn't take very long, should it? You know, contain it with some L's. We shouldn't be here that long. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we're starting with a withdrawn offence, uh, also known, of course, correctly as the DACA, named after the, the legendary coach Glorious. that is Matt DACA, everybody's no, favourite person in. in the world. Until I'm fumble, isn't that correct? I can agree with every part until the favourite person. Um, I think you'll find he's widely despised on Fumble. SFL final, let's go. All the hype. About, but, uh, Best league in GLOOD, BOWL1, 2, 3, Fumble, Tabletop. Good luck, three time winner SCURO, Mr. 358 himself, is a shoe in for his fourth SFL title. Oh, wow, that was amazing. Thank you. His habit of running away from any form of challenge whatsoever has slightly morphed when it arrived on Blood Bowl 2. Uh, mm -hmm. To mean a sort of you know, a legitimate tactic, the withdrawn offence, thinking that you can minimise damage and maximise your attempt to break the line with limited resources and maximum number of elves. So, you know, your rerolls can be small and your elves mighty if you hold the attrition off for a few turns by running away, which is what we're seeing here. Yep, and thank you very much, Satterfield, staying fantastic for 64 glorious months, 16 whoo beaver pregnancies over five years. Th thank you so much, and uh, thank uh, the you SFL. to everybody who's going to stay fantastic during these hard times of terrible yes. Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> yes, give Jim your money, despite... I, think, I thought you were going to talk about the, the cost of living crisis, but obviously the state of Blood Bowl 3 is a bigger issue. At least, at least, at least, you know, people are uh, debating about the real important things of the Blue Ball 3 state, like the TV Plus, which is like discussing the color of the curtains, meanwhile the house is on fire. It really is, isn't it? It yeah. totally is. You know, yeah. like everything coming down, you know, oh, the, the building coming down, and like that. what color should we choose for the bathroom tiles? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, just, I popped in. I, I, I think I wrote twice in the Blood Bowl 3 Discord just to point out to Voodoo Mike that from A, I'm still here, and B, I still know he's an idiot. <laughs> and that not everyone debates like a four year old. And if he really wants to use his childish, you know, not really answering but picking you apart tactics, then I'm up for it. I can out debate anyone. <laughs> I've won prizes. There you go. And uh, inducements wise, we've got Hemlock for uh, Flicky here. Mm. Flicky has got a couple of tacklers, I believe. I believe he's got a strength three one. Yep, he's got a strength three, but you know his tackles, you've got to keep him tackling. Block guard tackle, you've got to keep him even at strength three. And another tackle, so two tackles for this game is okay, isn't it? A bit of a weird formation here by, by Flicky. I don't like this. This could already be an early, uh, an early blitz from, uh, what's he called? Gadenik here, taking out yep. this guy and this guy and coming through here. We'll see if he does that. And yeah, seems... absolutely. He can come up the left. He can go up the right if he wants, Jim. Could, um, yeah. There's space to get around that side and to reinforce it. It would be a you know, two-turn push up that flank, but it's doable. Uh, or he could just knock some over, retreat a bit and say, yeah, kill a few more turns. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really hard versus Lizards, so I'd, I'd be inclined to want to go up the left just because, Ooh. you know, Lizards are so strong. You but... know me and taking space, Jim. The one thing that covers that is... Yeah, he's gone full field across, hasn't he? Uh, is that he does have a player down on the halfway line. Um, yes, it's on diving tackle, but to be honest, that's a one in four of stopping an elf with dodge dodging off it. And a, about a third of that time, this skink will be on the floor behind it. So, uh, not that big a worry. And having someone that's already broken through, in fact, he's just blitzing it off. Love it. 30% power there. But as I said, with the rest of the turn done, you could probably dodge off and not really mind. Or stay there and not really mind. <clears throat> it was a 50% that the skin doesn't have block. Yep. Oh, yes, you're right. Yeah, 55%. Yeah. So, there we go. And 
got a full cage. And you know, obviously it's better to not break through as long as you can break through later, right? The, the yes. problem is lizards are, are like such a horrible, oppressive team. I would I would be really inclined to uh, to have broken through early, but... I'll be honest, if I was flicky, I'd be slightly insulted now, Jim. <laughs> um, you know, you, against you or I, to not break through when it was, as you said, just one more Saurus to knock over and you were gone, or even just to push out the way and you were gone. Um, slightly feels like saying, yeah, I'll break through just whenever I feel like it. <laughs> yeah, um, massive disdain for Flicky here from uh, I, I think I think it genuinely, a little bit that is, yeah. <laughs> now, Flicky does have his weapons here. He forgot he was strength three. <laughs> he forgot he was strength three. <laughs> Instantly, who wow. said that? Cornite. He's done it, there you <laughs> go. How many times did he forget his strength three when he's done it instantly? <laughs> Well, more oh. than one. I think smart money's on more than one, Corn Knight. Oh, um, I wish. Wow, oh, that was I terrible. I wish for a camera on a face cam of Flicky right now. <laughs> oh, my God. I think he'd be very calm. Um... Yeah, no, it wasn't so bad. At least it was just a push, right? It, it, yeah. it would just be a relief, that. that The face cam would just be a relief of, like, oh, my God, I can't believe I did that. Yeah. <laughs> and I told myself not to. I so can't do a Geordie accent. I'm not going to try again. That was embarrassing. Um, look, he does have his weapons here. He's got the strength three tackle. He does have a strength four tackle that he's deployed elsewhere. Um, he's got a diving tackle. He's got the tail of the crocs. He's got hope. Um, yeah, for now, he's got those things. And he's got the stab, of course. Yep. You know, I mean, th there are some genuinely some ways the wizards end up winning this. The wizards, the lizards. <laughs> I mean... The Elf's team is not that impressive either. I mean, those have uh, has one guard, it's got an awful and the rest are more or less just yeah. uh, regular skills. So, you know, there is no like uh, some uh, yeah. a stats got, break or something like that. It's got two guards, but it's got oh, pace. Two? Oh, yeah. Um, and you're right, and those guards aren't particularly well supported guards. Yeah, free block gets a removal. Yep. That's a that's a big skink to be missing, to be honest. The diving tackle is one, one of those little weapons that could cause a turnover, isn't it? Yeah, fun, funny enough, if you if you watch back the uh, the game that I played against uh, Tom Schniz, um, it was a really good game where I kept marking his down players with my uh, with my sidestep diving tackle and was always marking the down players very very careful and never get him never let him get hit and then he got hit once in the entire game and got, uh, and got missed next it, game it's the missing yeah perfect yeah. so buoyed by that joyful occurrence uh, it looks like nick's attacking the other diving tackles king mm. <laughs> it seems like he's dream i'm not sure hope is one of his weapons <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you are right. I don't think you get that angry except by the death of hope. I think there has to have been some at the beginning. Wasn't there? I can't imagine, I can't imagine Flicky, Flicky going, I win every game. I reach the final. At least blew the game. With the blue the elves. You know, this is not possible to have fun in the SFL. Well, I hope not. I hope because when he, I've seen him coach tabletop and he has such a good time. He's so calm about it. He really enjoys himself. He doesn't get ragey. And I hope he's finding that in his online too. Hmm. Um, I doubt it, but I hope it. <laughs> oh, rolls away. Oh. oh, this could be it. No, I was thinking... Roll. I was wondering, does he leave him there anyway, Jim? Because they are so fast that nailing a Saurus down there with tackle, I might pay the blitz a cost. This yeah. doesn't get either way. But he's not a blitzer, he's a catcher, that's the problem, he's armor Oh, seven. it's a catcher, uh, armor 7. Yeah, I, I, was I, think, I, I was. think I might move this lineman though, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hmm, he couldn't really go anywhere, could he? Maybe move the lineman like here or something, because this guy's only strength 3, maybe get the yeah. lineman over there first. Yeah, yeah. Threaten to serve. I, mean, I, I think that strength 3 is the standing up or else it gets served. Yeah. Nick can, Nick can uh, dally a turn or two to surf a Saurus off, particularly a tackle one. Particularly with an elf deep in the backfield. This is all pretty iffy for Flicky right now. However, he has freed those two Sauruses over that far side. And they can get back and cause some havoc, surely. Yeah, GFI Blitz on this uh, catcher. Mm -hmm. 
I think that tackle has to get involved. Maybe and probably hold, let the Crocs hold the centre to stop the switch of sides somehow. Yeah, yeah, just don't activate the Crocs. Yeah, maybe leave it exactly where it is. And you can maybe, you can maybe three D this catcher. That's not, that's not a bad shout. Three D. Hey, stab the ball carrier. You could just stab the ball carrier. I mean, that's always. He could just stab the ball carrier. That isn't that bad a shell. It's a three plus. Yeah, you obviously Two. come in not off the tackle piece, but as long as you get there, that's it, it should be fairly simple. I don't like this. But what are, what are we doing attacking the back corner for? Because he's going to base the ball with the Crocs, probably. Okay, well... Shawnee called it. I mean, but yeah, that the back might one's really bad, right? Because now Theoretically work. Yeah. I mean, it won't, but... You've got men behind the ball, you need... You yeah, need they're all now, the whole team's now behind the ball, Jim. Yeah. And even the Crocs has gone behind the ball. Oh, God, yeah, well, okay. Well, yeah. this is this is not going to work. Yeah, the Crocs had to be one. Like, even if you're putting the Crocs in, he has to be one of them, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He could have been one further down the field as well, to be honest, but... They're all gone anyway. It's, it just becomes a one in nine. It's just not that frightening. Mm -hmm. And that's if you don't find somewhere to move it, which you can if you want. Yep. Yep. I mean, it's twos. It's twos to clear them off now pretty easily. But. Don't say it's over. At least there's something in front, you know? It's not. It's yeah, not terrible. and I mean, there's, there is. What, what did, you had the double screen up the side and you've reduced it for some reason. Mm. I mean, Hemlock sidesteps, so you'd still have to power sidestepper with your tackle wrestle piece, <laughs> but, you know, I've heard that could be done. Yeah. This guy does stand up. See, that's why I would have quite liked this line or to have been stood here, because then... Yeah, can, yeah, it so. would have been stronger. Yeah, because I, uh, I guess he was thinking something. I think he was thinking of, you know, like, how easy would it be to surf it, so he wanted to see if the Crocs got in there first. I think it was quite viable to see if the Crocs was in there first before you're standing up, but... Um, yeah, yeah, that's one of those ones, absolutely, where you don't stand up until the end. You see the rest of the turn, and then you think, if I stand it, does it help me, or is it a liability? Yeah, I was going to say, I think he comes out backwards and goes around the side, does he? Or is he coming out through there? I don't know what he's doing. He's already not played it like how, what I would have done. Mm. So we're looking at a 1 in 9 for Slicky to win the game now here, maybe. <coughs> oh, no. It is, it's a 1 die on the Crocs. <laughs> call it! Good call. So then and that gets him out sideways, him. yeah. Still a bit chancy. There's some dodging to do. Yeah. And he needs one of these to snake, but... Interesting. Yeah. He played it like an SFL finalist. Wow. The savage <laughs> burn. <laughs> I mean, now you can see obviously all the things wrong with with. Oh, I um, see. I thought you. I thought you thought the first half was the burn, Jim. That he played it like an SFL finalist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, okay. Yeah, I get it. I'm sorry. I'm a bit slow. Like an SFL finalist. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I did wonder if the guard was going to stop on the Saurus. <laughs> the problem is that this is a very hemlocky ball, isn't it? Oh, that's a cheeky one die. Glorious. Hey. And it gets the stun as well. Outrageous. I mean, it was it was wrestle, so it was fine. It was a two plus to get it where he wanted it, but it's it's pretty shocking that it got the stun. <laughs> Even the power, because it allows the uh, the guard to... He's staying... Oh, okay. So this time the blitzer, the guard blitzer, is staying on the tackle and the crocs. Yeah. Holding them in place so the ball can get away. A lovely bit of play there from Nick. That's uh, that's cost-benefit analysis. He knows he might lose the blitzer, but he's nailing two really tricky pieces in place and hoping that pushes means he gets them all stuck there. Mm. I like it, Jim, but it's risky. 
Mm. Matt Russell and the Blitz are both at definite risk. Do you just go for five plus two plus to hit the ball here? No. I think I hemlock. Yeah, I think the stab is a very valid uh, option. Yeah. Everything's stuck behind the ball except the skinks. And the skinks aren't going to stop it. So hemlock. It's hemlock time. You can get the crocs on like five players here. <laughs> which is pretty Yeah, good. but not the ball. I know. But, you know, like, it's pretty good, isn't it, getting the crocs on five players? That's pretty good. And then... Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're not wrong. And then, yeah, then go for the stab. I just don't think it's good enough, but... Oh, you, you mean just put it in? Oh, you yeah, thought you yeah, meant blitz in there. Okay. No, no, no standing in there is great. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, that's fabulous. Yeah. There you go. And now you hemlock. Yeah, probably have to. Because he's probably away next turn. I don't see there's any way. Uh, yeah, uh, how do you stop him? Him? With at least one, and then everyone else comes afterwards if they can. And the one is the the rackle piece, which is not what you want your skinks chasing down. I mean, negging definitely works at school. <laughs> it's never not oh, yeah. going to that, That's the tactic of Bruvo 3, you know, and negging everybody so <laughs> more people buy the game. There's a reason it works, isn't it? <laughs> Skuro, I just don't have time to join every little league that does ask me. I have to pick carefully, dude. <laughs> well, maybe he's just going to come in with his Edge 4 for a 2D. I don't know if he can get all that way around to get an extra assist. I'm not the odds. I mean, I, I, the think it, I think it's the stab. I think he just wanted the diving tackle, there there, which I quite like, because the yeah. stab probably won't work, and it doesn't. Yeah. And at least it puts the DT on it. I think that was nice. Yeah. However, I can think of some ways of clearing that diving tackle. Yeah. Is it by smashing the puck out of it? <laughs> it that was principally it, yes. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Which I can still do on a one in nine, and I would. Because yeah. I'm like that. Joining SFL and playing Blood Bowl are two separate things. That's a very good point, Shawnee. This is like about week 42 <laughs> of the season or something. <laughs> <laughs> I do understand that it is largely a state of mind. <laughs> this is something like week 42 of a 10 week season. <laughs> Remember at the beginning of the season when people were saying, Will Blood Bowl 3 be launched before the end of the season? <laughs> and now we know the answer. <laughs> Skura, I told you, I think it's nice that we're giving... I don't know if you were here at the start. I mean, I wouldn't blame you if you weren't. Um, I think it's nice that we're giving some exposure to these little leagues. And I wondered if they paid Jim or if it was just a, a new initiative of his. I mean, this is where the real Blood Bowl is played. Not the people that grind away in the CCL. The people that play their little, little league that no one's ever heard of once or twice a month. Yeah. And, you know, and that's the only Blood Bowl they play, and they enjoy it, and they think they're great, and it's it's fabulous. That's the lifeblood of, of Blood Bowl. It sure is. Oh, yeah, the like, local like, league winners. Like in American sports movies, you know, when at the end the protagonist goes to a small pitch or something like that and sees some kids playing and things yeah. like that, and they're like, oh, this is exactly. actually a real thing, you know? <laughs> exactly. This is this is very much the Match the Day crew. We're not doing Match the Day today. We'll go and commentate in the local park. <laughs> that's... um. That's what's going on here. The mighty ducks. <laughs> Jim has said I am allowed to talk about the state of the potholes in Barnet's roads <laughs> and the fact that the Tory council here has done virtually nothing about it, certainly nothing that anyone can perceive. Um, and I think it's toxic. They've been saying they're going to do something about the potholes, but they haven't. Is that, is that true, Cornite? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. That was amazing. In the road to Boomer. Uh, and frankly they don't have convincing policies as to how they're dealing with them. It's what everyone in Barnet is talking about in my part of North London. Uh, it's the potholes in the roads and the Tory council has just an unrealistic policy of, of we'll ignore them, they'll fill themselves. Well they won't. And I'm not afraid to call that out, uh, even if it means I can no longer commentate. <laughs> it's okay, I'll forgive you. Well, you're a better man than some, Jim. Mm -hmm. That is true. 
But then notably, you're not in your position because you bribed anyone by offering to redecorate their flat. Yeah. So that, that may or may not be a key difference. Who knows? Who knows? It's impossible to know. Uh, who knows? Oh, wow. Oh. Flicky, look, that was amazing from Flicky. He actually remembered his strength three guy in strength three. Yeah, amazing. that's nice. I like that. I don't... What's it doing there, though? But... Oh, I see. That's yeah, better two guys, including tackle, yeah. Yeah, not bad, not bad. But it does feel like the the defense is gone for now, Flicky, right, doesn't it? It seems like there's too much now. Yeah. Nick. But you never know, he might snake. Well, I mean, this is this is half an idea. If he can get that tackle, I mean, the problem is, is that just the elves will tag it. There's not a lot he can do about it. It feels like, you know, he's got too much behind the ball, right? He's just got so he, much He does. He's, yeah, he got too out of position by attacking the rear of that Wenger bus. Flicky just saw the opportunity to attack the rear and couldn't control himself. Yes. <laughs> Fucking hell, Shawnee. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, put the asylum seekers to fill the potholes. I can see that as a headline. Mm. God. Well, the size of some of them around here, you could house them in some of the potholes. Uh, a little bit of tarp to pull over themselves, that'd be... Uh... Well, you should come to Edinburgh to see the state of roads in absolute uh, disgrace. But Tory policy is literally being decided by the drunk bloke in the pub, isn't it? Which I think is hilarious, if, if it wasn't for the country I'm living in. Mm. And they're, oh, you like asylum seekers, do you? Ah, wouldn't like them if you were in your bedroom, would they, mate? And that's become policy. I mean, mm. wow. Can you see the uh, the little bit of space here for uh, Nick? I do see the, the gap in this defence. I actually thought the last dodged off skink was going to solve it by going down the sideline forcing the elves to come back into the middle slightly but instead he's okay, covered the middle a little bit now. Um, well you could do one or the other because where it was was pointless Jim yeah. so here he's swapping stopping the elves moving into the middle a bit which is good it means they're pushed down the sideline which should give you another chance to attack but on the other hand they can come down this sideline in huge numbers he just needed one more didn't he to cut, firstly have some presence in the middle and cut off the sideline a bit yeah, he just he needed he needed not everyone on the wrong side. It was that it was that turn that yeah. lost him it, really. Yeah. Lost him the drive. And, it, and you know it might not have lost him the drive, right? There's still there's still a dodge to be made yep. here that could snake. Yeah, which is off tackle. Yeah, or he moves he, you know, he moves his hands off to this guy you know. Maybe he just hands off to the guy who blitzed. So that he doesn't lose on a snake. Might be thinking about that. Because he's probably thinking, you know, the only way I lose this is if I snake this dodge. <laughs> so how do I not make this dodge? He could punch and just keep the ball. And like, cage around him, he's probably thinking about He's that. He's a little near the Crocs and the other Sauruses, uh, including the strength three. I'd want the ball to be further away than that, Jim. Yeah. But yeah, I mean... He could be thinking about it, I thought. He, he could be. be it. It's certainly not clear where he's going to me right now. Mm. I was a bit surprised by the Blitzer coming all that way just to hit that skink. Mm. Oh, he's rolled the wall! Oh! Oh, there you go! Ooh. He's... Didn't oh. double oh. dice. Well, they do call him Mystic Jim. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my god, this channel is so boring when we're commenting the games. <laughs> well, they do say some of the greatest cricket strokes are played out on the village greens on a Sunday. And, you know, sure enough, we've seen a very, very creative little stall here um, in this little league game. And... Um... This mega super elf send off, terrible foul. I would never have done that. <laughs> this is the level of amateurism we are seeing, you know, the, playing games 
early in the afternoon and things like that. Yes, kids games. <laughs> kids games. <laughs> Little kids jumpers for goalposts. Uh, Isn't it? Wasn't it? Mm. Mm. Lovely, eh? Smashing. <laughs> um, now, Flicky has uh, one Saurus and two Skinks to deal with six Elves. Uh, I see that going very well. Oh, oh the, this guy is... So, um, is there a... Yep, he punches this guy. He punches this one, right? He punches yep. this one. And then he dodges this, so he uphills this guy for a push. Skink comes in here, and then he runs around, blitzes him. Cha- like blitzes this guy, chains him into there, and then he gets... That's what I was looking for, was the chain ball. into of that tackle onto the ball. Yep. It, and I think you're right, there are ways it gets done. I was just looking at moving the two skinks in. It's two three pluses, Jim. Uh, but well. then I am, it's a one die. No, because then the guard means I'm still hitting two die. Oh, it's a blitzer. It's a, blitzer. It's a sidestep blitzer. Exactly, so you've uh, got to hit this guy first. got to hit the um, the guard, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. yeah you've got to hit this guy first. So that you can use him as your leverage. Yeah, yeah I see. That is the problem. And he's got a guard there free, so he, he can actually just... He could, he could uh, two leaders or something. So now he's put the guard in. Isn't that a one die to move that elf where you need it? And then the skink can dodge in on a three plus, and then you're golden. Yeah. You get your one die as long as you at least push. There's the push. Does look like uh, Flicky's seen it. Yep. Or he's here. <laughs> if what he could have done is he could have just uphilled, right? Man. If he had just uphilled, then this guy comes in here, and he could have blitzed him there and got him in. Then he could have cancelled the assist and two d the ball. But yeah, well done, Flicky. It's still lovely, yes. though. Really nice play. Yep, yep, really good. Really nice. Won't she play like this anywhere else, guys? <laughs> and I think it's probably safer to do it the way he did it, to, to get to see the one die, rather than to fail on that uphill, Jim. Mm. So I completely understand why it was done this way. Yeah. Does with the big boys the re-roll. Lovely to see. Shame Flicky. Made it a 55% chance to knock down there. A really, really good shot. Well played. Uh, no tap here for King. Like, you, couldn't, you couldn't get this guy because he's sidestepped. That was, like, that was the kind of obvious play, but you, he's got sidestep, so you have to do it. Ooh. Ooh! Big Kaz. And he does pay the iron price with that blitzer. And the apple works. Ooh, what a nice very, for Flicky. Yeah, big, big four plus there with the uh, with the Apo working. Let's not forget that uh, Gdenig, uh, foreign agent, Fedein versus uh, Flicky, <laughs> a worthy son of the Empire. <laughs> so, yeah, Flicky gets, uh, Nick gets away with that one, really. Um... Yeah, massively. I mean, I thought his turn six was pretty poor, to be honest, Jim. I didn't like cutting back in for that blitz. I thought dodging off was the way to go. I thought blitzing one of the skinks in the middle was the way to go and just getting that space, yeah. getting away from that Saurus. Um, and a pretty poor turn, creative, but but not great. Was met with a really nice turn from Flicky. Sadly didn't pay off. Um, it's going to be 1-0 at the half. Yeah, almost certainly, yeah. Almost certainly. There's still a diving tackle skink around. It could still just about change, but... It's very unlikely. Very unlikely. Because this skink is going to get 2 deed by ta block tackle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going to get hurt, you'd have thought. And also, it's still going to be on tackle, as importantly. Yeah, it's not getting there, is it? One, two, three. No, it's fine. Oh, look, Jimmy, you're pressing in the team. No, oh, Jimmy Skinktastic. Glorious. Oh. I think I'm on I think I'm on uh, <laughs> Nick's team as well. Oh, like a scuro, eh? But with a little, with a little, in little worse. On a, a little worse name on a uh, Nick's team. Oh no I'm not. Maybe I injured myself. Uh, against Nick, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, 
that's the thing against like he really got Flicky got a bit lucky that Nick had a bad turn, right? Like if, if Nick yeah. hadn't played that bad turn, he'd have been gone after the after the bad turn from Flicky. Um, I mean, yes, Flicky had, as we said, you know, he'd closed off some areas at the end of that turn. He'd picked a nice position for that final skink. So he put Nick under a bit of pressure. Pressure. Nick did do a fairly poor turn. Um, but then Nick, you know, Flicky saw that and instantly sprung and took, you know, really good advantage of it, Jim. It didn't pay off, but, you know, I still think he played a really nice turn. He did, yeah. It's just he'd, he'd already lost it, hadn't he, earlier on? That was the problem. A little bit, but... Yeah. And, that, and I mean, he had a 55% to maybe get back in it there, yeah, so... He did, yeah. That's that was nice. against the DACA, though, right? If, like, you know, if you make those mistakes... Yeah, you're, you're likely screwed. Yeah, you end up with, you know, too many men behind the ball, and... And that's the problem, minute You end up like totally, totally reversed. Like you know, all of his players. There's there's one elf, <laughs> and yep. then literally all of the all of the uh, lizardmen on the other side of the ball. Well, to my chagrin, because I'd rather not. I had to pull one last night. I was in a horrible position. I was down to eight elves against a full eleven, bristling with death orc team. It was one of those odd ones, Jim, where he'd he'd overdogged most of that. Um, I think he was sixty down. He'd hide a wizard and another person for the bench. And then joined the game and said, "Oh, I'm a huge fan." And then tried to chat every game he was, every turn he was typing, you know, four or five lines. I'm like, dude, you either scum against me or you chat. But really, I'm not doing both. <laughs> so I didn't stop him first half, and nearly did. Second half, I did the withdrawn offense, and he was chatting all over and said, "Oh yeah, you know, I heard you about this. You don't like it. Ha ha ha. Great to see you, Daka. Ha ha ha." I've always said it's perfectly valid in many circumstances. I just don't like that name for it. But even knowing that and knowing what I was doing, you know, I still got past and with such ease that I was allowed to double screen it so that his wizard was completely ineffective. Because, you know, he couldn't whiz enough to get to the ball, no matter what. It... But it just meant there were four turns where neither of us did anything. And I'm not sure that's great for Blood Bowl. That's another worry of mine. But it's not a worry for the coaches. That's up to the rule makers to make rules that encourage or, you know, facilitate other types of play. Mm. Coaches should do whatever is within the rules and tactically gives them the best chance they can of winning the game. Of course they should. Yep. What a Friday night did you have, uh, PC? <laughs> what a Friday night. Yeah, it was a thriller. Yeah, Tom's got a point there, unfortunately, J5. It also depends, you know. If it's a game I don't have to concentrate on, I'm, I'm probably playing on my phone as I play on Fumble at the same time. Um, if it's someone good, then usually I'm chatting because I'm engaged. <laughs> Banter. <laughs> yeah, it's a good well, now Flicky though. has the chance of the one turn. Mm, he's got a nice four sidestep uh, skink, uh, but he is up against three sidesteppers. Yeah. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's probably like it's not impossible, but it's. It might, I think it probably isn't impossible, but I think it's probably close enough. <laughs> it's. I mean, with the skinks, you can get around them to force a push. I'm not sure you can get more than maybe two. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, that's the problem, and. I mean, it doesn't look like Flicky is for a heartbeat setting up for it. No, because you need eight there, and now you've only got three more. Yeah. So how the hell do you get them? Yeah. So no, it probably isn't possible. A uh, quick snap. I guess you set up for a quick snap, right? Because you can particularly if you separate them, if you put them together, it's more possible. Of course, less spaces to fill, but. Yeah, it's, it's probably possible on a quick snap. So you probably have to set up for a quick snap, I guess. Or a riot, I suppose. But yeah, almost no point setting up. They are such long odds. But if it's your only odds, you set up for it anyway. Yeah. Or at least with half an eye to it. There's the quick snap, and he didn't set up for the quick snap. He only nope. set up for the riot. I think he should have set up for the quick snap as well. But there you go. I don't think that at all, J5. I think I think you'll probably find that your actual chances of uh, <laughs> Britney Spears probably not very high. I'm not sure he, he has uh, eight kids. 
I think, that's no, right. I think that is also incorrect. Are we all supposed to be nice to Britney now? I mean, it, it wasn't actually very cool what the world decided to do to Britney. Well, oh, look, here's a vulnerable young person clearly having a really tough time mentally, irrespective of whether she's rich or famous. Let's all point and laugh. Yeah, great. Mm. Let's, how about we just don't? There you go. Um, and Tom, my chat game is red hot, mate when I choose it to be. I don't always deploy it because I'm not sure it's how I wish to game, but if someone messes with me, trust me, my, my chat game is fine. <laughs> it's, I've been no, around it's, the block. It's certainly not Elliot level. I mean, Elliot is the absolute bottom tier uh, chat game. But there you go. Nobody's got worse chat game in the world. <laughs> Literally nobody. Well, it's so, so it's only, he's horrible at chatting. Even if he would, tries to say something nice, it always comes wrong. Yes, it, it, it's almost like it, it's the exact opposite, isn't it? It's so bad it almost becomes good. <laughs> oh, look, stab failed, what a shot. Hmm. Leave Britney alone! Oh man, the Leave Britney alone was great, wasn't it? Sure. Incredible that that guy, because it was a guy, well, that person, that person was right. Yes, yeah. but uh, also, I mean, I, I, I don't really care. It just, it wasn't cool, was it? It's not who I want to be as a race. No, that was, that was at the beginning of the ordeal. When he came yeah. with his head, that was obvious mental health problem. That was like, oh, yes. even even, even uh, South Park <laughs> made an episode about that, you know, when they have to sacrifice uh, Britney Spears and the public uh, so the spring can begin. <laughs> Making, yeah. you know, an I, example of, you know, I, 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 that. They were well ahead of their time in calling it out. Um, you know, they weren't alone, but yeah, that's the thing we did. I mean, that sounds like he didn't waste it, though, J5, because that, 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 that sounds like he'd get exactly what he wanted. The thing that breaks my heart about that Eliod sound clip, the boobies one, it does genuinely sound like someone who may not have seen breasts uncovered in their life. And oh my is, god! Is looking forward to one day doing so. <laughs> no, oh my I'm god. sure that isn't true. I'm sure, I mean, and not on the internet, I mean in real life. I'm sure. No, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm hope that isn't. I'm sure Elliot must have. Wasn't he? I'm not helping you, you know, stab Elliot anymore. You want to do that? Sick, call Necronome. PC. Necronome has something, you know, to cancel, to back cancel PC. I'll have to uh, find out more about these. <laughs> In solidarity <laughs> with Elliot, I'm going to refrain from commentating the rest of the match. The, the Tory neighbourhoods do this to you. You're right. If I'm going to say things like that, I should invite him onto One World, One Blood Bowl and do it there. But <laughs> I'm sure he. Ha I'm sure he has. Sure. Sure he has. You know, for being an actor, you act very bad. How Leave Elliot you? alone. How could you tell? Leave Elliot alone. Leave Elliot alone! There are opinions and opinions, Calcium. You should know it better than anyone. Calcium, I only signed on. End. <laughs> I only signed oh, on to do today when Jim fully accepted that I could comment on the state of Barnet's potholes and how the Tory council has done inappropriately small amounts about it, whilst talking up a big pothole-solving game. Um, yeah. And frankly, you know, I, I have my truth and I will speak it. I didn't know you were going to savage Elliot, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was a, a little a step unexpected. Too far, man. Leave Elliot alone. Is it Leave savage? Elliot alone. Is it just? It's just a genuine, uh, genuinely interesting question. I, 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 you know, there's no judgment. Oh God, Elliot is the champion of fumble. Yeah, he won the Warp Stone Open. He oh, is. Oh. He is. I don't know if he's got his prize yet. 
Fumble Major winner, a thing he has in common with you, I believe, Jim. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also me. I've actually won three uh, three fumble majors if you count stunty yeah, majors. Yeah, you won, you won two stunty majors and a proper major. I won them back, obviously, when fumble was a thriving site with thousands of people on it uh, and a competitive rule set with loads of people playing. Well, uh, and uh, Elliot won it um, recently. Yep. Fleet's favorite player get hit by a rock. Yep, obviously, great use of the apple there. Instant apple. What else? Yeah, had to be. Had to be. Didn't even get to play Blood Bowl. Yeah, that was brutal. Are you still going to pick it up though, don't you, Jim? On someone, you can't oh, leave it on the ground for the next on, turn. Pick it up on Stabby Man. He's got blood step on him. He does. Although there is also a blood step skink of his own, which at least has rerolls as well. The three title seasons in your intro. I don't know what you mean. Like loads of bullshit before the video starts because I think it's shit. <laughs> is the answer. <laughs> oh, three time winner. No, I'm not a three time winner. Oh, a three time winner. Oh, yeah, I'm a three time yes, winner. Yes, you are. Oh, God, yeah, I'm a three time you're winner. Already in a fun bill, I mean... Well, because, well, first of all, the stunty ones are shit. And second of all, the uh, the one that I've won, you know, who cares anyway? <laughs> well, the one you won was legit. The stunty ones are, I mean, it's something that you won against other people that were trying, but it's, you know, you wouldn't put it up there with a, a chalice or an actual fumble major at a busy time. Elion's major, I mean, he played some decent coaches. Is it as busy as it was when I won? No. Is there good coaching there? Yes. Did he beat Malmere in the final? Yes. Is Malmere extremely good at Blood Bowl? Yes. Yeah, and congratulations to Elliot, who is a fantastic coach. And also a really good sport. He didn't mind when I took the piss out of him on One World, One World Blow. He's got a great sense of humour. Um, and he's someone I like a lot. So while I take the piss, I want that to be absolutely clear to anyone that is in doubt. I have nothing but time and respect for him. Yeah. Oh, I, didn't I would not he's tease him so. Yeah, I didn't realise he's got another blood step here, so he's going for the blood step pickup, obviously. Well, yeah. The star player blood step. This is the shit hair ball. Yes, thank you, Squirrel Dude. This and Elliot has apparently won some stuff before, so yeah. I just can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> to be He's won plenty of stuff. He's a very good coach. Yep. And to be fair, my uh, my my one of my Stunty finals was against Purple Goo, so you know, like, you know, it, yeah, I that's a hell of a coach. Final, I beat Purple Goo in the final, so you know, totally. they, they still can. They still. There's can. a way through here, Jim. But, you know, who cares? At the end of the day, who cares? It's just a, yeah, it's just exactly. a little kid's game. <laughs> well, I've always said that in terms of caring, I mean, I did care. What I cared about was proving a little something to myself, only a little thing, which is that the game I enjoy the most, which I would say is small squad tactical turn-based games, of which this is. I know it's supposedly sports, but it's a small unit tactical war game, basically. Um, is that I'm sort of all right at them. Because otherwise, you know, I've wasted a lot of my life doing this. And I sort of proved that to myself years ago. So now I just do it for fun. <laughs> Perhaps it's that I'm really arrogant. I genuinely don't care what anyone else thinks. Do you know what I mean? It's I'm not mm. doing this for the good opinion of others. I, you think what you think. I'll get on with my life. Yep. <laughs> Well, hey, banter from Jim there. <laughs> no, not only suspecting that lemon is good. <laughs> suspecting. I don't know it, do I? I just think from the way he says that, it's a, there's a possibility. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, I beat me in the, in the rando thing. He, he beat me one despite me. He won one despite me beating him, which was, uh, you know, some might say a fucking disgrace. But I'm not bitter at all. Oh wow, look at that disgusting game! Absolutely fucking. Yeah, disgusting I, I game. did tell you I thought that was going to happen here. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't re-roll it. Like the reason to pick it up with a blood stepper rather than the stabber is to is to re-roll the pickup, right? And then. Yeah, I'm surprised. I was looking at going through the one just in front of the diving tackle skink. Yeah. Uh, over on the other side of the pitch. You and sort of up through the centre past the Hemlock, but you wouldn't need the power, whereas this one a push was just as good. It took more elves to get through this way, but then you only need one to go and get the ball, really, don't you? Yeah. 
And if it if it goes down, you sense there's a lot of elves are going to arrive there next turn. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So yeah. if it if it goes down, get the ball and get it away from there as well. Yeah, yeah. This was like higher risk, higher reward, basically. Yeah. Because there's you know there's a stabby little thing there, which won't work, <laughs> and then plenty of skinks. So I'm guessing that the flicky already dropped the GG. And probably, chat. Yeah, yeah, probably. He should have done. If he hasn't, he's he's he's, he's failed. He's failed at Blood Bowl if he hasn't GG'd yet. He absolutely should have GG'd. I might just 2D with this guy, honestly. He's got Wrestle. So you I'd 3D so. with the Saurus, I think. No, I'd, I'd just 2D. Because 3D, you're probably not going to recover, right? Like, you're probably not going to recover position if you're 3D. You've got... You've got plenty of skinks around there. You can leave the one down with agility. Bring in the diving tackle and the for yeah the sidestep and hemlock. Then collect on the one with the agility, and you've still got the diving tackle sidestep to close the door afterwards. I think I would want a three deer. Mm, I think I would just two. And if he moves this other elf first, you can use one of the saurus. Just, just big boy three die that elf, and then use the other. Saurus as one of your assists, and you've got two skinks afterwards for your 3D. Yeah, no reroll on the pickup, Tom. Yeah, I, I mean, I think he should have absolutely picked it, rerolled the pickup, um, but he didn't. Stand up the strength three. The strength, it's strength four is over by that wing now. Yeah, it gets well, stand that one up. Get served. No, it doesn't. He's too busy dealing with the ball. But I mean, that's what Flicky's thinking, that's why he isn't stood yeah, Here we go, I'd guys. Going for the two D here, because all right, he's doing, he's doing the GFI for the extra hit. I don't think that was worth it. Why? Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, that uh, was terribly unlucky. But th why waste all of that movement? Yeah, it was, it was to, to get the follow up hit. But he should just, if you want the follow up hit, you make it three D. Yeah. Basically, if you really that, want that's... to bang, 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 make it three D, and then re-roll it for six dice. Yeah, yeah that was. That was not the. But I mean, I would have just gone for the two away and just hoped to power him, honestly. I would have just gone for the 55% hit. Okay, screw up. Prepare the PayPal. Can we agree that one way or the other was good? That way was bad? Uh, yeah, yes. I think that was the least good of uh, the options. Yeah. I could see. Yeah, I think you 2D him away or you 3D him. I don't think you GFI to get a follow up hit. But, you know. You know, it, it Why rolls. is he moving? Oh, he's stalling. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. okay. Now this is nice. This shows that Flicky, Flicky has earned the, you know, the respect he didn't have at the start. <laughs> this shows a little bit of that respect back, doesn't it? I don't know. The, the problem is, it like you've got to, you know, have look. You've given them look a chance. I'd just gone to yeah. him up, honestly. I'd have just gone to him up. I would too. But this says he thinks that Flicky could feasibly both score and turn him over in two to in. Or six turns, which I don't think. Or but. there's another CU season, and he wants to get the touchdown on somebody who level. <laughs> oh, is it teams that live forever? Oh well, then yeah, he's farming. Oh, so we're passed from respect to absolute disrespect. He's, <laughs> yeah, farming. Yeah, he's Maybe, farming. Yeah, I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now and saying that Gdenik is gonna do some vanity passes. No, I just think he's gonna score on the right elf. <laughs> Let's, is he moving one up? <laughs> wow. Okay, that was a poor end of turn. Mm. Not stunning that one. Not able to. Yeah. Not risking to dodge off after the. See why stay on the diving tackle skink? Like I said, it's it's three out of four. You get off it. Yeah. Or just punch it. <laughs> he did. He tried to blitz it and blitz off. Mm. But when he got the both down, uh, and it had. Or something anyway, it, it, he couldn't. He ended up on it. Hmm. But this should be all over now, shouldn't it? Really, it should be. But there is there is the hemlock the glory player still, which I just think there shouldn't have been. You think you should go for the glory through that little hole between the elves? Yeah, so a sort of glory hole play. A glory hole, yeah. You should go for this hemlock in the glory hole. Oh my god, look at look at look at that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 
would not, you know, way would I just not want that, would you? Jesus Christ. Carefully built up to oh, just look at dropping that it in. Look oh, the, that tongue, the, tongue, the tongue action's pretty good, to be fair. <laughs> I carefully and slowly built up to just dropping it into the conversation once before seamlessly moving on. And Jim went, right, we're going to say that eight times. <laughs> yeah. So you think Hemlock should bend his elf over and do some dogging in the backfield, do you, Jim? That's glorious. Right. Yeah, that. No, I won't give Look, you can't be too subtle with football I'm fans. Okay? Just not get up the there and rim that defend. ball off that elf. I will defend. <laughs> I mean, you know, lots of the people watching this have, have, have actually bought Blood Bowl 3 for God's sake. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we don't need to protect them from the worst things in yeah, life. So, and uh, Lord 689... <laughs> Have given the uh, Scuro Mezzo uh, subscription. Yeah, Lord, maybe Lord should rename him, his, himself to Lord 3589 because it's going to be <laughs> Scuro 3589 after today. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, Lord. <laughs> and congrats. congrats. Which also shows that the Scuro wasn't subscribed to the channel. Oof. Outrageous. And uh, be rest assured, the money that Skuro saves there, he will obviously uh, will end up going on Australian beer for good day to, think, to drink. <laughs> so. I, I am still hopeful that Skuro really comes to Nikon. I will be devastated if he doesn't appear. No. No. Sorry, I know it's my eyes, but I briefly thought you said Hancock sucks at glory holes. <laughs> um, but of course, it's Hemlock. <laughs> But uh, Hancock is from uh, it's a scouser, so <laughs> never say never. <laughs> if there is a fiver on it. Mm. Oh, glorious Oscuro will be there for for, for Nick Con and Jim Con. <laughs> the formerly known Nick Con. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, living early Sunday. Jesus, you were, were more than early, exactly the same time. I'm living early Sunday around midday or something like that, or early evening. <laughs> oh, God. The, the the question is will will Sata who who's in the car Sata PC and Scuro and Dimmy and Dimmy oh my god yeah I know do you Dim not remember the the plane accident when they say that the music died that day <laughs> <laughs> Dimmy and Sata Rebel don't forget your yeah. earmuffs <laughs> and for a start I hope that car's got really fucking good suspension <laughs> I mean really really good suspension. You are really optimistic getting a car instead of a van. <laughs> oh, God. Who's going to be driving? Sata, it's his car. What a time to have a death wish, Sata. You are driving. You, you are going on the car with the dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right, Poglar. While Sata drives, we're just going to pull a screen across, me, Skuro, and Dimmy, and just go for it. We're going to be shagging all the way up the A1, all the way to York. Mm. By the time we reach York, Skuro will feel like a pincushion. He'll have had so many pricks in him. He's going to be like... Um... We're going oh, to the... render, render him airtight. We're going to seal every hole. It's going to be Deliverance, the Blue Bowl version of Deliverance. Oh, you got a God. real pretty mushroom patch, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine Dimi playing the banjo. <laughs> I think it's more likely they just talk a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, we're going to shag him like an 18-year-old at a royal disco. Oh, dear. Well, it's over now. It's now. I mean, Flicky, you know, shouldn't give up. He yeah. should try. You know, you never know what happens. Like, you know, if he scores in two or three turns. He, 
should try. He can learn Blood Bowl. It's not beyond him. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you mean in this game? Oh, yes, yeah, he should score quick. And hope for the Blitz. Yep. But he played great a couple of times. Yeah. Um, a couple of loose turns. Very hard against Nick, who is you know one of the world's top players. Yeah, that, that's as the good thing. As just a couple, of, a couple of bad right turns, now. you're going to get punished, yeah. aren't you? That's the problem. Yeah. You know, like I had a bad turn against Nick, lost the game because of it, and yep. Flicky had a couple of bad turns and lost the game because of it. That's that's about as simple. As I mean, interestingly, he did have a good turn. You know, did, right yeah. after Nick's probably weakest turn, he had a good turn, and it was a great plan. It just didn't come off. Fifty-five percent of the time, that ball would have been down, and that could have been a really interesting end to the first half. Yeah, getting him back into position, having been out of position. Yeah, um, he had some bad dice as well. He had like he had you know the stab on the ball and stuff, and then you know yep. got his guys removed and that. You know, like if the, if the dice had gone a bit better, he could have still got back into it. Um, you know, just with better dice. So, yep. And these elves are always going to be able to nick your ball, sadly. And when it was on the ground, you know, I did say who's going to pick it up because the ball on the ground against elves. And I, I do wonder if enough attention was paid to that. Not it was much. a bit loose when the pickup failed. We could have been much tighter in stabilising around the ball area. But even then, the elves would almost certainly still have got in and got that ball away. Because elves. Yeah. Oh, he's got to st he's got to spam the two pluses and score on turn thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Roll the dice. Roll all the dice, Flicky. <laughs> yeah. Roll all the dice. <laughs> yeah. <he's> <laughs> We haven't Washington seen enough of this, Jim, have we? Hasn't no. been enough attrition. No, that's the problem, right? But he's got so much blood, it's not easy to... And like, you know, obviously makes the fight about the ball. It's like... It's tricky versus... Yeah. Danic. But when there's more elves been sent off than cast off... <laughs> late into the second half, you're thinking, yeah, my plan hasn't worked very well. Yeah. When you feel a pickup in range of elves, you can either reroll or reroll. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it, yeah. Reroll all the way. Yes, that's uh, Thomas needs uh, giving the proper advice. Absolutely. This is this one GFI, I think, this time, and one next. Because he could uh, do another one, but then now if he gets pushed, he, can, he could sidestep forwards, couldn't he? Yeah. And not have to do a second, so I guess it's better just to do one. I'm not even sure you bother. I think you just elf screwed in front of it, don't you? Yeah. Oh, Slightly yeah, but I mean, like, I think it's correct to only GFI once so that if he does hit you, which he couldn't yes. really, then you could potentially GFI, you could potentially sidestep. So I think it probably is technically correct not to GFI. Um, I, I mean, I, I absolutely, sorry, I agreed with you, Jim. I just I was moving on to the next point, which is what do we do now? Because I think you're right. Yeah. You do the one, you don't do the second. You can't do none, of course, because you're too far away, and if they somehow leverage you one further away, you can't score. And doing both is a slightly pointless risk, because as you said, you might get it for free. Yeah. And also, it was just a lot more exposed. It was easier to dodge in if he was one space further forwards. Yeah, that's fair, Cornite, that's fair. But... If you if you GFI, then you can hit this one, and base you with tackle and stuff. Like it's yep. harder to get base with tackle back here. Yeah. Where he is now, I don't see him getting based. I thought it was slightly stronger. Yeah. Although you're right, it has cost him a point of lateral movement, uh, which could be huge in terms of desperately wanting to score this turn, which Nick has read and said, "I'll hold you for one more, please." Yeah, it's just two two pluses, isn't it? Well, one two plus maybe. Every time I say that, they say they still want another forty quid. <laughs> so you can blitz this guy, and if he pals in, all oh, right, this guy's in the way. I didn't even see him in the way. Oh shit! Mm. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the place you want to go. Oh, well, you just blitz this guy then, don't you? Sometimes you, you want to go where everybody knows your name. Mm. Has to be this turn. Has to be. Oh, he's got guard. Oh, he's got him. Oh, God. Yeah, this is actually pretty tricky. Yeah, it is. God, Nick's a scumbag, isn't he? And also because, as I said, he can't go sideways. So, yeah. how would I do this? I would go... Oh, Nick is a scumbag. There's just no denying it. <laughs> You've got to try and free a 
get a guard up on the line, which you can do. The Sauruses can get there. So I'd go probably through the guard piece, but you've got to push him, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can do things here. It's not terrible. The problem is you can't you can't avoid the tackle. Anywhere you go through, you are almost certainly dodging off tackle. Yep. Oh, okay. So right. just... Shouldn't that have been the skink blitz? Uh, no, that's fine, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, the skink, and then then he pushes him, and then it's still one. Because he'd two. have saved one. Yeah. Hey, we go, guys. Yeah. Click a skink, click and so on. Oh, he double one. Yeah, he double one off the non-tackle one, of course. <laughs> oh my god! god. Every single time, game. it's impossible to enjoy this game. Yeah, so the advantage of doing it the way Flicky did it, because there is an advantage, is that in the case of a both down, he could have dodged out the one that was downed in front of the other skink yes. and still had a route through. Yeah. Um, the advantage of my way was that, obviously, if you'd blitzed it and got the power or the push, you've got one less dodge to make. Yes. So, uh, horses well. for courses. I gave it a shot. You certainly did. Yeah. Doing some you. very good stuff there. They were, uh, the chain uh, to hit the ball with uh, one dice, that was really good. Mm. I could have yeah. done it better. I think I could have had a two dice if I'd done it slightly differently. Yes. Yes. If I mean, if you'd uphilled to move the elf you definitely could there may have been ways to doing it without uphilling yeah i, I, I saw the uphill so did jim and i would have done it the way you did it if i'd gone for a t-shape and hit him from the right from from the right i could have got a push without filling that square i went for the the l-shape triangle hit if i'd gone for a t-shape i think i could have Basically, when I put the guard in first, I filled the square I needed to hit from if yes. I'd made it into a T-shirt. Right, I yeah. I could have done it. Yeah. I, okay. saw it af I saw it afterwards, though. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit of a shame, but, you know, it was, it was still, still nicely done. done. It? Still, still gave you a 55% direct hit on the ball. Yeah, um, and I had I had three re-rolls, so I figured let's let's go for the 1D with a, with a re-roll. Yeah, no, 100%. I, I was three. really impressed with that turn. Three stab fails as well when I've yep. uh, got, uh, got in on the ball with Hemlock. That was a bit of a shame too. No, the whole booth universally loved that turn. Um, yes, probably ways it could have been better. It was still really, really good play. Um, and you don't watch the VOD back, right? No, I won't watch no, not said, the first. That's pretty much what we said all the way through. Not yeah. after the first turn. I mean, that <laughs> I... first turn... I just wanted to crawl into a little hole and die after those two. I mean, it was just awful, wasn't it? No, don't worry. You can watch the board, no problem. There is a surprising amount of comments about Elio, the experiences in life, which are uh, absolutely out of the blue. A lot of uh, potholes uh, announcements. You know, yeah. it seems, seems that the North London is full of potholes. North London <laughs> is full of potholes. And the Tory government just hasn't done much about it, having promised to. And it's an absolute disgrace. And I will not be silenced. Hmm. And there you go. And uh, that's more or less all of it. Yeah. Yeah, but don't watch the vote. And especially Elliot, don't watch the vote. <laughs> <laughs> It was, a, uh, it was a fun... I've enjoyed it. It was a fun game. Good. And he's a Gdynik himself. Not, not often you can uh, get, get completely side-blinded. Side like, someone else is playing the game, and Elliot's the one that shouldn't watch the VOD. Like, you wouldn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know. You know, if you're playing the game, fair enough, right? If you're playing the game, you know, don't watch the VOD. Makes sense. Oh, sorry, sorry, Nick. I'm just, uh, I didn't realize. I didn't even realize that was my turn. Sorry, mate. Mm, I've I've been. Uh, yeah, that's also why I joined the chat. So I was being. Uh, AFK so Creek. flicky. The question here, the the audience uh, wants to know, is. Glorious. When did you drop no, the GG? I won't give in <laughs> until uh, I'm after victorious. After he picked up. And I will uh, after the failed GFI, I will obviously, defend. when I uh, snaked. To get the hit, I wanted a hit from that angle, obviously, to get another hit on him. Uh, I had seen a way of getting two hits plus a stab, but he he closed that off nicely. So I uh, 
I could have still done that if I'd used the edge for lad, but obviously he's my recovery and to try and get it safe. It would have mean it would have meant using him on the first blitz. To to yeah. do that, you did turn down two options, Flick. You, the first was just to hit him without doing the two extra GFIs. Yeah, but then I couldn't have got. Well, and I mean, the, one extra. The second, GFI. the second was to three die him. Yeah, I could have. Yeah. Did it, I liked I like just going for the two D, you know, yeah. and the fifty five percent gives you maximum. Whereas I like to go for the three D. Wait, yeah. Elliot has been here all the time. No, oh, yeah, thank you very much, Pogler, and thanks, thank you very much, Pogler, and great news for Elliot. Congratulations, Stephen. Elliot. And, um, uh, great news. Here. Elliot, Elliot has received <laughs> subs for this channel seventeen times. <laughs> seventeen times, Elliot. For God's sake, get your own subs. Just don't watch the VOD, Elliot, okay? And uh, PC's comments are not endorsed by Jimmy Fantastic or his channel. <laughs> not I don't know what me. problem you've got with me having a go at the Tory government for not fixing the potholes of Barnet, Jim. It, I will not be silenced. <laughs> it's not that, and you know it very well, PC. It's not that, and you know it. Don't try to pull up Boris Johnson Find here. out more about these boobies. <laughs> hey, snitches get stitches, Fermier. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> You are welcome to try. I'll see you at the UK uh, thing. That yeah, that's, what the Armada said. that's what the Armada said. Determined to kill that poor little skink. <laughs> Is it Jimmy Fantastic? Can, can we have like a like a like a like an actual JFW at NickCon? We just see like J oh, God, imagine Only that. if I'm allowed to play bowls uh, first. Okay. As long as Flicky doesn't literally kill you, though, Nick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> be that careful would, what be you bad. wish for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was thinking that, you know, the, the, oh, we can do, you know, some kind of entrance is there, if he's going to ask a school or all that, but, but I want nothing to do with actual physical interaction or touching <laughs> any other member of this channel or community. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a good idea. Shake hands, pat in the back, yes, more than that, no. <laughs> Probably not Skuro, no. No, you'll have to come on like a uh, fucking, what's it called? Um... Barnes Day Night. Yeah, and then, and then just pretend that's your entrance. <laughs> oh yeah, PTK will probably be there, won't he? Yeah. Uh... Um, he, well, he never used to go because he used to clash with his annual skiing trip in January. Mm -hmm. But now that it's moved to the end of March, I, I don't see that that would clash with it. I'm sure he will be going. So let's see if we can snake again. Though I haven't specifically checked if he is this booked this yet yeah, this time. And for uh, those of our viewers well. that don't know what we are talking exactly, <laughs> is a. Uh, the 31st of March in York, before the UK and uh, whatever it is called, Blood Bowl tournament, people are going to meet in a place. And that people are more or less people that are in this channel or associated channel. So we'll have a uh, few drinks. So you want to come, you are more than welcome. Yes, 360 people are going to York for the next day for the UK TC, one of the biggest Blood Bowl tournaments in Britain on the yearly calendar. And the night before it, when they will all be in the pub drinking, uh, some of them will be in the pub drinking in honour of Nick. There you go. And uh, also, if you go skiing, if you ever get to go skiing with Corfu, look look what you could experience. <laughs> How good is that? I mean, wow. <laughs> he, Doesn't that just sell it all by itself? <laughs> he's a, he's a, that? He's a pink oh. bunny in the JFW, but he's a blue triceratops in real life. On the slopes. <laughs> incredible. Well, that's, just I, his, I, that's just his away outfit, Jim. I don't know what your problem is. Yeah, glorious. <laughs> I, I, I'll I, say it again. I refuse any kind of physical contact with anyone involved in that game. <laughs> I'm sure he has a fluffy tail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, there you go. That was... I don't know. I think there were a couple of a couple of mistakes, but also a bit of a dicing, right? There were some pretty brutal dices, like the 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 uh, the rock and like you know some of the stabs and some of the hits on the skinks. But um, congratulations to Gadenik, commiserations to Flicky Flack, 
Um, do you guys Very have anything to say? Anything? Yes, I have something more to say. I mean, I'm surprised nobody has asked for it. But this game, this final of the CFL, is going to be dedicated to our viewers in Azerbaijan. No. Wait, again? Again? Well, Azerbaijan it is. Foreign country, oh. <laughs> sending agents probably to deal <laughs> with the national flower, the Opris Caucasica, and the national dish, the Plof. So I hope our viewers and sponsors in Azerbaijan have enjoyed this uh, game, this final of the SFL. Congratulations, Skuro Meso, for your uh, becoming another number champion. <laughs> Why would you do That's so toxic. We're going to get so many more clown emotes from them now. You didn't give them a, a proper game. You gave them an SFL. Give them a, give them a CCL champ. Give them a cup. Give them a knockout game that matters. I mean... Come on, it's Azerbaijan after all. I mean, there's only 10 million people, you know, the CFL. Yeah, yeah, all right. That's, that's, yeah, that's a good point. It's like saying, oh, you get football. Oh, you get cricket. Oh, it's not the same, is it? One's only played by eight people. Right, so Jim, is it someone's bar mitzvah next? Or what else? Who else has won a prize to get the commentary team? <laughs> Nope, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.